Hey everybody, welcome back to Nellie and Ruth Designs. Oh, I'm going to sit here and just kind of decompress <clears throat> and work on some of these little cuties I've had sitting on my desk. So if you'd like to stick around and watch and just hang with me, you're more than welcome um, to do that. If you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by and um, taking a look. And if you've subscribed, thank you. Uh, I was having a really good night. I wanted to come up here. Believe it or not, I've been up here an hour and a half fooling around with my printer. Um, I wanted to print out. These are going to be cute little ephemera cards and such. But I wanted to print out some paper to put on the back of here. This is from Grabby. This is some of their, and I'll tell you what, everything is from Grabby, except my girls. Um, my girls come from overseas. I don't remember right now. My mind is a little spent because I guess the spool, the printer spool or whatever on my printer isn't working. And I have been fiddling around with that, trying to get that to work so I could print out what I wanted to put on the back here. And as you can see, I didn't get very far because I have nothing. I may go right over to my bin and see if I've got some fun leftover paper from my romantic junk journal. And then I called my girlfriend's husband. I called Lee's husband because he is my go-to guy for everything. He's actually fixing my push mower right now. Um, and he's my IT guy. He does IT for a living, but I'm telling you, this guy can do anything. So I don't know. He's going to stop by tomorrow night or the next night. He actually has a sign in his house and it says, um, drop everything when Barb calls and run immediately to her. Um, that's a joke between the two of us. But I thought that I would play with these and just kind of hang out and relax. And there is Doug. Now, what does he say? Let's see. He says the only other option is to restart the Wi-Fi router and try connecting the printer again after the Wi-Fi comes back online. Okay. I'll give it a go. I'll do that in a little bit. I want to get this. I want to get this done. So, um, I'll get some of these on here. Like I said, um, I wanted to use some of my grabby. I remember I got that grabby box. And I wanted to use some fun things here in the box with these sweet little girls here. You'll have to excuse me. I have a, a sweatshirt on. It got rather cold tonight. I do have all the windows open, which is lovely. But I have all these. Aren't these sweet little girls? And I wanted to use these. Look at all of these. And I will put in my description. I think I got these from Iridescent Dreams. And I think she's in Spain. You can only buy items from her through her Instagram, uh, through her Instagram page. She does not have an Etsy shop or anything like that. These here are from Grabby. And I thought I would just use these to accent a little something on the page here. Um, I want to try to keep these simple. because I don't want to take away from this little gal here. And I guess just positioning everything is, is the key. So I hope everybody is doing well and you've all had a fantastic day. I think I'll put them like this. And I'm not going to be doing any, um, oh, what do you call it? Oh, burnishing or, 
I don't think you call it burnishing. All of a sudden, I'm tired. This printer thing has exhausted me. My husband is still out of town. So I'm in my craft room tonight. I'm not going to stay in here very long. I just want something to decompress me. I did a lot of mowing today. Um, it was an absolutely gorgeous day here. And... I wanted to spend it outside. And that I did. Watch me blurt this all out. I'm going to try to use my art glitter glue on these. I do have some vellum tape that I probably could use, but I don't want to get the tape. I don't want to have the tape down below here. So I'm just going to try to run a very, if I can get it out, this is ridiculous. Let's do this. I'm going to probably just have to blub it, blub it, blurb it, give it a good old squeeze to get it started. I just want to put a little tiny bit on here. I don't think you need a lot. And I think this will be okay. And today when I was on my mower, um, I listened to all music from the 60s. And oh my gosh, it was just, it was a great day, a happy day to listen to all of that. mowed from 1 to 5, one thirty to 5. So I have to have pure entertainment. I have a pair of, um, I used to have beats. My kids bought me, I actually have two sets. No, I have one set of beats. I have their beats. Um, I have the noise canceling, the, the headphones. I don't have the earbuds. I have the headphones. I got them when I used to fly a lot. I put my beats. I'd wear my my noise canceling beats because I can't stand the hum of the airplane. Um, then every time I got on and off my mower because my cord would be hanging I'd get all wrapped up in it. Sometimes it would actually pop off cord would pop out of my beats and I'd lose connection, blah, 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 blah. So my kids and my husband one year, they all went in and got me a pair of candy, nah, candy crushers. Yeah, that's the game. Um, what are they called? Something crushers. I just know them by on my phone it says wireless crushers. <laughs> I don't really know. I can't remember what they're called, but you know what I'm talking about. And, um, oh, they're just so nice. So I have no cord dangling, and when I put my blower pack on, I've got a big steel blower, and it's a backpack. The cord doesn't get caught up in that anymore, so... I feel like I'm living large out there. We're going to put little sayings on these, but I'm going to get some of these done. 
um, first. So that's all that I'm, we're going to be doing here is just deciding where everything goes and adding these little girls, these little paper dolls are very, very cute. And I love this paper. All of this paper came from Grabby as well. Um, they're scrapbooking um, subscription boxes. And I'm trying to use more of their um, items because I really do like their all the things they have in their box. Then I was watching, who was I watching the other day? Um, I gotta think who I was watching. And they were making, was it Crafty Cat? I don't think it was Crafty Cat. But they were making some really fun stuff using, um, all right, this is going to be tricky because this is very lacy. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Um, for, they were using uh, digitals from Dreams, etc. And I have purchased in the past, that was my Cozy Critters junk journal. That came from Dreams, etc. And I love that. Um, I like to make a cozy critter for, that's a Christmas one, and it's just so much fun. Um, but they were using something from Dreams, etc., and oh boy, I fell in love with it. But I really like everything here that was sent to me from Grabby. It was very nice of them to, I've never had that done before, have something sent to me complimentary to use and promote. So I am trying to use more of what they sent because it all is very, very pretty. And if you do order from Grabby, remember that your your first order, they gave me a um, what do you call it? My mind isn't working very good. I'm a little tired. Um, a coupon code. So if you're a first time buyer you can type in under the coupon code BARBIE15 and you'll get 15% off your first um, subscription box. There. Oh, it's a good thing that I... Good thing I wanted to put that up top there, huh? <laughs> Otherwise, I would have kind of messed up there if I had to tuck that under her head. So you can see this paper is quite thin. You can see why I want to back it with something else. This off a little bit. I've had a super, super, super busy, super busy days. Um, I'm sure you all are very, very busy, but I have to in the morning I have to get up and take my girls to get their toenails clipped 
Um, they were supposed to be groomed last week. And uh, my groomer called in sick. She had the flu. So I've been having a lot to do. And she said she didn't know when she was going to um, be back. So guess what I ended up doing? Isn't this pretty? I really like this one here. And I just thought that was cute. She's picking. I know these are peaches. There's some apples. But this little one, I wanted to make sure she had a, she has one with a little apple pocket. So I thought that would be cute on there. Um, I ended up giving my two doodles baths, blow dry, and haircuts. Um, but I don't like, I can't. I can't bring myself to do toenails. Um, I think I'm going to get that get that New York in there. Highlight that New York area. Um, so I have to take them down. She called me and she's like, "How are my girls? When am I going to see them?" And I told her I. I bay I groomed them, but they need their toenails done. So, and they're gonna want to go down and see Katie. Usually have to spell it K A T I E, because when the girls hear her name, they they go nuts. They go nuts. So, so I have to do that in the morning. And then I was supposed to have lunch with my girlfriend. And um, she called me today. She's like, where are you? I'm like, I'm on. First I thought, oh my goodness, did I, did I mix up days? Was I supposed to meet her today? I go, I'm on my mower. She just laughed because she knows I'm always on my mower. I think she thinks that's the only thing I do is mow. Um, but she says, I don't want to go to lunch tomorrow. I want to get out and worship the sun. We haven't had a lot of sunny days. That's why it was at, so gorgeous today. I didn't mind. I wanted to be out mowing for those four hours. Oh, it was just gorgeous. Between my music and the weather, it was a perfect day for me. Um, so she wanted to work or she wanted to go for a walk instead in the morning. And I told her I would when I got back from bringing the girls. Um, but I can't now because my sprinkler guy is coming because I have a head where the valve will not turn off and I'm just... leaking water everywhere. So they're coming at 11. And there's no way she wanted me to, she wanted me to meet her at 11. So I'm just going to have to tell her no can do. I just have to make it another day. You just have to be patient with these little flowers and with me trying to get it down on the paper here. These came in the kit. These are from Grabby as well. They're very, very delicate. You don't want to... I won't cut those off just yet. I want them to dry. So there's there's that one. Aren't these cute? I think these are very cute. Very simple, very cute. That's the other thing that, you know, you don't 
you don't have to have a lot to make a pretty little card. Um, again, you can use what you have and just kind of figure it out. These I really, I've never known what to do with. You know, I could put somebody's picture in there, but I think these are fun just to put on here, just to highlight um, a little extra something. Cover all their faces up. I'm going to flip this right over and I'm just going to remember that these two are kind of in her little chin there. So my husband and my son they were in Cleveland. That's actually where they are tonight. But by the time you see this, I'm going to say they were in Cleveland. Um, my son was having, thought he was having some issues with his heart. Um, he had heart surgery back in 19 when he was only Oh, how old? Uh, 2019. I don't know. He was... I don't know how old he was in 19. Was he? He had just gotten out of college, so I think he was 18 or 19. I don't remember. At any rate. Well, it was four years ago, so he was, what, 20? I don't know. My, like I said, I'm tired. My mind can't think right now. Um, but at any rate, he had heart surgery. He had his resting heart rate back then was 180 beats per minute. And um, it was pretty scary. And Cleveland Clinic got him right in. My, both of our heart doctors are out there. And my husband called his heart doctor. And they're so good to us at the Cleveland Clinic. I mean, we can call and we can get in in two days, within two days. They're just so good. And my husband's heart doctor is from India. And even if he is over visiting his family he will respond to my husband through email he will make the calls he'll make his assistant make the calls and in we are <laughs> and there we go um so it's the kind kind of the same thing my son was a little nervous they had some funky stuff going on and he wasn't feeling just right so we called on a we called on a thursday and on Monday, they were driving out there. Um, so he has to wear a heart monitor for two weeks. And then they can mail it back. We're nine hours from the Cleveland Clinic. It's quite a drive. But believe me, it's worth it. Um, so he started with testing and all kinds of stuff at 8 o'clock this morning and... He finished up with the doctor at five. So he had a very long, they both had a long day. Um, well, there's, oh, Daisy May. She sees something. I don't know what she sees. 
But at any rate, he wears his heart monitor, and if that checks out all A-OK, -okay, um, he had an EKG echo. I think he had another test. He said, so far, everything looks good. They feel that it could be, he has severe scoliosis, and they feel that it could be his scoliosis. So his scoliosis doctor is also in Cleveland. Um, they want, they'll want him to visit him again because they said a lot of times with severe scoliosis, um, your, your vertebrae will, my son's is, it's twisted, it's curving in, but it's also twisting. Um, and that can push on the lungs which will push up against the heart. So it's another reason why I'm so tired is from all this worry. I couldn't have, and I say poor Patrick, I mean, I, I had the twins and he was way, way, way up inside of me, way up under my rib cage and, I just don't think he had the room to grow inside of me. So I always blame myself, you know, for all his problems, which I shouldn't do, but I do because I just feel so bad for him. And he already said, he goes, Mom, I'm not having surgery. I said, yes, but, Mom, I'm not having surgery. I'm like, okay, because I know he's thinking it's going to interfere with his Taekwondo. And they'd have to put, they said they could correct, he believes they could correct his back, but he doesn't want the surgery because then he'd have a rod in his back. And he wouldn't be able to, move and do his taekwondo so I don't know I just worry about him as he gets older because it gets worse the scoliosis gets worse I don't want him all hunched over and they say the taller you are um the scoliosis is worse which I don't know you'd think if you were a shorter person it would be worse the taller you would stretch it out But all right, I think I'll put that up there. I'm going to leave these plain because if I put a saying, it can go right across that area. I'm going to put her underneath this here. looking down at that butterfly right there Ooh, they're just like that once that art glitter glue gets down whammy it's down These are hard to glue down, um, you know, being this intricate. I do have one of those little machines. Um, I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for my funky little 
glue pad and I don't the one that Amy likes and I don't know what I did with it I don't know what I did with it the one that says uh over there can't find it that funky little glue pad that I think it says things you do that that piss me off I bought that I didn't realize I had it in my last video I bought that as a joke for my husband and there is, you name it, it's on there. You know, like, um, you know, leaving leaving the cap off the toothpaste and a lot of funny things. And I didn't realize it until, I didn't realize I had that in my video until after I had made the video edit I even had it well I didn't really have to edit it um but I always do a playback of my videos before I put them to public and I'm like oh my lord I have that on there so there was a few people that commented and But some of the things on there are just hysterical. So once in a while I would use it. Just to have some fun with them. Get his goat. Get his goat. Okay. All right. Well, these are down. This, these, this was the hardest part right here these little ones so this is down so we have we have this sweet little one in the yellow dress the blue dress we have a little bit older girl we have this one here and we have her and then I just pulled these little ones out we might as well keep going if you want to sign off you can um, I have these here. I have this one here. These two I want to make like into a little set. I probably put them on the same page. These look like little brother and sister, or maybe they're two girls. I don't know. I can't tell. Sometimes when little ones, they have the short hair because they're... It's not growing in quite as fast but I just I just think these are adorable yeah and I think it I think it is my iridescent dreams and I will double check and put the information in the description And again, I'm not doing a lot to these. You don't need to do a lot. How I'm going to use them, I don't know. Um, I'm thinking maybe down the road, if and when I do have grandchildren or granddaughter, maybe, I can use these in her um, journaling book or, or her scrapbook. I think they call that wishful thinking. Okay, so those two are done. So see how quick and easy this is when you just, you take a few elements. Again, these are from Grabby. 
all of these background papers. And then you just grab your, and that's why they call it grab it. You just grab your um, other items. You don't need a lot. When they say less is more, unless it pertains to fudgy chocolate frosting on a chocolate cake, then more is better. <laughs> I don't really want to cover that bird up. If she was a little bit smaller, I could put it there like that bird is... grabbing those flowers and such, but maybe I'm just going to move her over like this. Just cover up that bird entirely. got her. And then I had these two. I think I might wait on these. I was just going to add her to this. I think I'll add these because this, I kind of like that plain circle in the background here. It just adds a little something around her. And I like because she's looking at that bird. And again, I don't, I don't, I feel I don't have to do anything else. To this at all. Just maybe a little, um, do I say grommet there or whatever? So I'm going to add. Am I still on camera or am I pushing myself off? I think I'm still on camera. Okay, and I think what I'll do is try to get her lined up. First thing I do. I think what I'll do is um, I'm going to get some other paper. And I'm going to back these off camera. And then I'll have some sayings, and we'll add the sayings, and then we will call it a day. Okay, so I'm back with some sayings. It's actually the following morning. Um, I chose to turn the camera off after I was going to back these. And I went to bed um, because I was a little frustrated, but I did get my printer working this morning. So we're going to add some sayings to these. Like I said, I got my printer working, but now my Nellie and Ruth Designs email doesn't work. So I don't know. There's always something. Uh, so I, you, as you can see, I have all of these backed. So these will be good to write on um, in my, my journal or my photo album when I get it done. And you'll see that I decided to make a little border around these. I I just thought it would be be a little cute. Um, and I may even stitch around these a little bit, but I'm not going to do that now. I'm just going to get some sayings on here. So I pulled out Tim Holtz, uh, his little saying books. This is the small talk. Um, this is a little bit different one. Clippings, clipping sticker book. This one I don't use very much, um, but I may. I may use this today. 
So I'm going to use just short little phrases. Um, I think that will be appropriate for these. Um, this one I think is cute. Leave a little sparkle wherever you go. Let's see if I can get this off. And I'm going to leave them plain white. I am not going to um, distress them at all. All right, so I think I'm going to put this one. This hat, this hat, oh, I can't even talk. Leave a little sparkle wherever you go. Let me see. I want this on a bigger one. Maybe I can, let me put this on here and then maybe I'll add um, some little sparkles on there. I have my little, I have these, these little Wink of Stella brushes. And maybe I can put a little bit without ruining it um, on that butterfly. Yeah, this is. I don't have a good pin to put in here right now, um, so I have to constantly unclog it. So this is going to be leave a little sparkle wherever you go. And let me see if I can put a little bit of this. on here yeah and this will add just a little sparkle and shimmer I don't know if a double coat actually helps it, but and it has a little bit of a sparkling sheen to it without having to use glitter. So that one's done. Let's see what the next one might be. Um, Let's see, how about there's, oh, I didn't realize I used, I didn't realize I used two of the same girls. I didn't want to do that. Must be I like her, huh? Um, let's see. How about love with all your heart okay put that this is a smaller one so maybe and I'm gonna put this right down here I don't really want to put it up here I don't know what do you think I, think I should cover her little leg I think that would be okay. I think that's okay to overlap a little bit. Put it right there like that. Okay, that one, that's done. Oh, let's see. How about a dream is, did that go? This kind of looks like she's dreaming, doesn't it? A dream is a wish your heart makes. Here. 
That way it adds a little bit. It brings your eye up around this as well. So we have that one. Let's see, what else? I don't want the black ones. Um, choose to see the good stuff. How about if we use that one? Um, okay. Let's see. Should I put that down here? I think I'm going to put this down here again. Okay, choose to see the good stuff. That's cute. This one here, other little... Um, is that too big? I'll put this, fall in love with as many things as possible. That would be, I'm trying to think of uh, sayings too that when I, I can use these, um, you know, in an appropriate way when I go to journal on them. Okay. All right, so that one there. And I like leaving the little border around these. So these are all done these here and then let's get this one here this isn't too bad um, how about if we do this one focus on what's important okay. and we're gonna put that one right here Focus on what's important. That one. And then these I'm not going to put a saying on, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a, I guess they're called brads, right? I always want to call them a grommet. I don't think they're a grommet. So let's see. Um, and this is just decorative. I'm not going to be putting any um, ribbon through these or a charm or anything like that. It's just a little something to add some interest. I don't know if I like that gold. It's a little too, I think, a little too harsh. I'll use that one. Okay, so those are done. Okay. And then these two here, what shall we do? Um, I don't know if I want to put a saying. I may not do anything here yet. Uh, you know what I could do? Well, I have the writing up here, so I don't really want to um, I don't want to interfere with that writing, and I think these the, these numbers are too big. But I could do I could put these on. These numbers. I think I'll put these right up here like that. And then I'll put four, five, six here. And I think those will be cute. There. So that is it. This here concludes our little fun ephemera video. And again, um, 
you don't need a lot of materials. I used uh, everything from Grabby, um, my Grabby box, and I will put their link in the description. Then I used my girls, my really cute, sweet paper dolls here from, I think it's Iridescent Dreams on Instagram. And then the background paper, everything else was uh, also from Grabby. So I just think that these are all very, very sweet, very cute journaling cards. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd love to have you give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. If you're new to my channel, again, thank you for subscribing. And if you aren't and you've seen this video, I'd love to have you um, subscribe and to continue to join in on the fun. All right, everybody, have a great week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.